Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. And we are today doing Lesson 8, which is dividing decimals. And we're going to start with this problem, which is the first example. And it says divide 0 0.004415 by 0 0.032. Well, that's a lot of zeros. So my rule for me is whenever I have a zero point, I don't worry about the zero in the front because it means nothing. And then this zero in the front means nothing, so I leave them off. Okay, so 0 0.004415 divided by 0 0.032. Remember that the number we are dividing by is the divisor, and the number that we are dividing by something else is the dividend, and the dividend always goes in the house, and the divisor goes in front. So now we start to play with the decimal portion. We've got a decimal, and we need to not have a decimal there in the front. So our rule is that we never have a decimal in our divisor. We're going to multiply to get rid of the decimal place in the divisor. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by a thousand, which moves it three places to the right. But then to be fair, I multiply the dividend also by a thousand. So what I did is essentially I had a number on the top. So let's just say I had a number on the top. We'll call that X. And I had a number on the bottom, and we'll call that y. And then I multiplied the number on the top by 1,000, and I multiplied the number on the bottom by 1,000. But isn't 1,000 over 1,000 just 1? So I really took the same number. I took a number, I multiplied it by 1,000, took another number, multiplied it by 1,000, and guess what? Those 1,000 divided by 1,000 cancel, and we wind up with the same number we started with. So it does not matter um, to the value of the number if I multiply both the dividend and the divisor by a 1,000. Eh, it's the same number. So it's the same thing as multiplying by 1. So now we're going to have our new decimal here and our new decimal here. So essentially, now I've got 4.415 divided by 32. I can ignore the rest of it because my decimal is now there. So this one is now 32. And my decimal is over here and these are meaningless. So 4.415. So now we're going to head, go ahead and do our division with this much simpler looking problem. So here is our much simpler problem, and we have 32 into, now remember 32 doesn't go into 4, so why bother with the 4? I'm going to put the 32 into the 44, and that's going to go one time. So the 1 goes above the 44 because 32 does not go into 4 at all. So 1 times 32 is 32. And then I am going to subtract, and I'm going to get a 2 and a 1. And then I compare 12 is less than 32, so all is well. And then I bring down the 1. If you want to draw an arrow, you can, but you don't have to. And 32 goes into 121. Now, I can make my guess. 3 into 12 is 4, but I know I'm going to run into trouble with that 2 because that's not a 30. And 30 would go into 124 times, but that's going to be, um, it's going to go in 3 times because 32 is too bigger than 30. So we're going to put 3 times. So 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 3 is 9. And when we subtract, we end up with 11. So we're going to have to come over here, make that a 1, make that 11, 
make that a five. Okay, 11, and so now we're getting 11 minus nine is two. And we can see that we made a good guess, didn't we? Because 25 is less than 32. So then we bring down the last digit, which is a five. Okay, so 32 goes into 255. That's not going to go evenly, is it? But three goes into 25, oh, about eight times. And then the two, uh, I think it's going to end up being a seven, but let's try it. Seven is my guess here. So let me get some more room to write. Okay, I, I went ahead and rewrote my problem long ways here. And we had just multiplied seven by 32, and here we get 224 which when we subtract leaves 31 and 31 is less than the 32 divisor so that is going to be our remainder now let's go up here we have one thing we have not taken care of yet and that is our decimal remember when we moved our decimal we got rid of the decimal here and the decimal wound up right there and our decimal will always be right above the decimal place that is in the dividend. So our answer is going to be 0.137, but I have this 31 remainder down at the bottom and it's 31 out of 32. So if I were going to round that answer to the hundredths place, I would make that 0.14. Because remember this one, is greater than five, so I would round this one up. If I was going to round to the hundredths place, and my answer would be 14 hundredths. Okay, and that's an approximate answer because the exact answer is <clears throat> 137 thousandths and 31 remainder, which is just a little bit awkward. Now, in 8b, we're talking about ordering decimal numbers, and we have a what they're calling a number ray because they're only showing it going off to one side. Um, so, we're looking at 4 to 5. It starts at 4, and it ends at 5, and they're trying to show you how the numbers are arranged in here. So, we have our little hack marks here at 4.2 and 4.4 and 4.6 and 4.8. So, those are evenly spaced. And then they're showing us some decimals that are in between. So, 4.2 is the same thing as 4.20. But, so 4.22 would be a little bit to the right. And 4.4 is the same as 4.40. So 4.36 would be a little bit to the left of that. So this one right here would be 4.3, and 4.3 and 4.4 would have 4.36 in between them. And then 4.6 is the same thing as 4.60, and so 4.56 would be a little bit before that, and 4.65 would be a little bit after it, halfway in between. 4.6 and 4.7. So now let's look at these numbers that they have up here. I decided not to try to write these on the board because there's only four numbers. They've got 0 0.426, 0 0.0732, 0 0.732, and 0 0.0426. And we're going from the least to the greatest. So, if we were going to look for the very smallest number, okay, this one, we're going to look at the highest valued place. So, they all have a zero in the ones place. So, we're going to look at the tenths place. This one has a 0 0.4, 0 0.0, 0 0.7, 0 0.0. So, the smallest spot is going to either go to one of these. So, here... 0 0.07 and over here 0 0.04. So this is four hundredths 
and this is seven hundredths. So the four hundredths is the least number. So that will be our smallest. This one will be our next one, the 0 0.0732. And then we're going to be able to go to the tenths place and say, okay, 0.4 is less than 0.7. So from least to greatest, we would go least, then the second one, then the third one, and then the fourth one. Okay, so they have them arranged right down here for you just like that. Okay, so on the next one, it says rounding decimal numbers. Okay, so we can um, round decimal numbers to whichever place they tell us to. And we're going to do this in the exact same way we rounded before. We're just going to have to figure out which place they're telling us to round it to. And then we will look at the place behind it. So in this problem, it says round this huge number to the nearest 10,000th place. So remember, we've got tenth, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So the fourth place is the one we're looking at. So you can see down here in the picture that they're putting cir a circle around the fourth place because that's the place that you're going to round it to. And then they've got an arrow on the number after it because that after number is going to decide whether this stays the same or bumps up. Since the arrow number is five or greater, then we will raise this up one and the rounded number will be having a six in the thousandths place. So now let's practice now, once we have the six in the thousandths place, we drop all of those zeros, and our final answer is right there. Okay, so let's do, um, let's read that one for practice, okay? So, that's going to be 212 and 166 ten thousandths. Okay, so let's look at the next one. And it says... Round, oof, such a big number. I'm not even going to try to read that number. We're going to round it to two decimal places. And after that, I'll read it to you. Okay? So, big number, we're going to round it to two decimal places. Okay, this is example 8.4, way down at the bottom of page 27 of your blue book. And they've told us to round this number, big number, we're going to round it to two decimal places. Since I'm rounding to two decimal places, I'll put my circle around the second decimal place. I'll put my little arrow under the three or on top of the three, but I don't have any room, so I'll put it underneath the three. Not a really big deal. And I'll look at that arrow number and I'll say, okay, that's less than five. Therefore, this number stays the same. And now these numbers are all going to turn into zeros and fall off. So 4, 0, 5, 7.21 is my final number. And we will read that properly. 4,057 and 21 hundredths. Okay, here are our first two practices. And we have 416 point big decimal. But we're supposed to round it to the hundred thousandths place. Well, let's see. This is tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So we're supposed to round it to that place. Therefore, our little arrow is going to go on the number after it. And since the arrow number is bigger than five, we're going to round this up by one digit. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to the four, which makes this number go to zero and drop off. And now I have rounded the number to the nearest hundred thousandth. So now let's read it. 416 and... 4,274 hundred thousandths. Okay, so let's look at this one. We're going to round to the nearest thousandths place. 
tenths, hundreds, thousandths. So this one is the number that receives the circle, and the arrow goes on the number right after it. The arrow number is bigger than 5. Therefore, to round it, we will change this number to a 6. These numbers become 0, and they fall off. And our new number is 4,375 and 236 thousandths. Okay, so here is our last board, and we are to round this number to the ten thousandths place. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So this will be the one that gets the circle. And then this one will get the little arrow. And we look at this arrow number, and it's less than five. So the circle number stays the same. These go to zero and fall off. So our new rounded number is going to be, we wouldn't leave that in our final answer, would we? Okay, so we've got 2,837 and 652 ten thousandths. And that's all there is to rounding. So now here down here, we've got a little number line segment from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 and we're trying to put all of these four numbers on this number line segment. So here um, we've got the 0.4 and that's going to be 0 0.40 and then this would be 0.41 and this one would be 0 0.42, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 0.5. Okay, so we're trying to put 0 0.460. So that should go right on one of our little hack marks. 0 0.41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So this one right here is going to be 0 0.460 right there on the mark. 0.423, well here's 0.42. And so 0.423 would be about there because it's three steps out of 10 here. So we'll say, we'll draw a little line here, 0.423. And then this one is 0.445. Okay, so if this is 0.42, this is 0 0.43, 0 0.44. And we need 0.445. So isn't that going to go halfway in between 0.44 and 0.45, which is this one. So we'll say this one, and we'll just draw it straight down there to that. 0.445. And lastly, 0.453. And 0.453, here's 0.45. So 0.453 would be about there. So that one would be that one right there. So if we're looking at them from least to greatest, we had the 0.423 and then the 0.445, the 0.453, and then the 0 0.460, remember, was right there on this one. And that would help us to put them in order. So that's just a little bit about decimals. My, that board looks a little messy, doesn't it? And this is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.